When you use old cars as your primary mode of transportation, they often require troubleshooting and problem solving on the fly. But usually, this footage doesn't coincide with any project that I'm working on. These kind of issues just pop up. So, I decided to make videos that focus on those issues. And this is the first one. So here's the deal. My wife told me to come out and lock the truck since we were done for the evening. And I opened the door, no overhead lights. I put the key in the ignition, no lights on the dash. And the truck definitely doesn't start. So I'm thinking I have a battery issue. Time to investigate. I pulled out my multimeter to check the battery voltage while the cables were still connected. It was low, less than two volts. So I removed the battery cables and checked the voltage again still low it was about the same i was hoping to see the voltage rebound a little and that would let me know that there was a draw somewhere else but there wasn't the voltage was about the same i put the battery on the charger it's two years old so we'll see if it's okay i looked over all the cables coming from the positive and negative terminals on the battery and the only thing i noticed that was wrong was the small gauge wire coming off the negative battery cable. The termination was broken just beyond the crimp and it seemed to be the other end of a ring terminal that was bolted to the chassis. That's the ring laying there in the battery tray. Thankfully, I have an assortment of terminations and splices that I have left over from other projects. I keep them in this container and I use one of these ring terminals to re-terminate the broken one. I put the new ring terminal on and I bolted it back to the chassis. I also checked the resistance between the positive and negative battery cable. I had infinite resistance, so I don't think I have a short anywhere. Well, the truck started up just fine and has been starting fine ever since. The battery's holding a charge, so I think it was just that cable. I'm still worried about why the battery was low though. Maybe I left the light on. Maybe I left the door partially open. I don't know. That wire being disconnected probably didn't allow the battery to charge properly. So I'm gonna keep an eye on it. But for now, I'm good. If you'd like to follow along and see all the work I do on this old truck, hit subscribe. And if you have any friends that are interested in these old trucks too, share this with them. Thanks for watching. Take care.